What's going on YouTube? It's Rick Harder here. Uh, just a little update on the Phenom 2 555 Black Edition. I ran an overnight stability test, Prime 95, and I ran the blend test. And I just wanted to basically make sure that all my settings were correct in BIOS, and I haven't overclocked anything, as you can see. Just stock 3.2. And I actually lowered the voltage a little bit because I noticed that this board will overvolt at idle and undervolt at full load because it's at 1.408 volts, whereas at idle it's at 1.425, which is a good amount of difference there. So I'll have to make up for that while I'm overclocking. Might just be some V drop, but not a big deal. Here's our temperatures. It is close to 80 degrees Fahrenheit in my room right now. It's probably 77, 78. And you can see we're running at 45 degrees. Highest was 46, and our idle was around 27. But as always, idle temperatures are meaningless, and they're never usually right. The hotter the CPU gets, usually the more accurate the sensors are. At least that's what I've read in a few places. Also, you can see we have hardware monitor here. This is a core temp version 1.0. This is hardware monitor over here. And we have our, it's a stock cooler. It's the uh, aluminum heat sink that comes with the Phenom 2s, not the nice uh, heat pipe one. And I just got the fan running at 100%, 3600 RPM. And over here, we're registering 44, 45 with the same 46 degrees highest temperature and as you can see there we're still running our prime which actually let's go ahead and stop this I ran for nine hours and fifteen minutes so I'm deeming that stable enough so that is the stock idle and load temperatures while running prime 95 blend test now on to some overclocking guys more updates here real soon. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day.